Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the BioMutant game appears to be crashing, freezing, or experiencing low frames per second when you are launching the application or the game. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by just restarting the computer. So that's the first thing I'd actually recommend you guys try. Another thing you can try here too would be to go run the game as an administrator. So if you have Steam, go ahead and right click on it and run as administrator to see if that has also resolved the problem. Something you can try. And one other thing, well there's actually a couple other things we're going to try here. Uh, we would try further going into the start menu. Type in device manager. Best result. So I'll go back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the display adapter section, so go ahead and double click on it. Whatever display adapter is listed under here, go ahead and right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, locate and install a driver manually. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select whichever one appears to be more applicable for your actual graphics card manufacturer. Otherwise you can select the default or basic driver, that's just a generic driver but we're going to select one that's probably more applicable for our actual display driver so select next go ahead and, and let that update and close it here and then hopefully again that should have been able to resolve the problem another thing we can go ahead and try if you've restarted your device and you're still experiencing an issue would be to open up a web browser and into Google we just want to type in Visual Studio 2015 to 2019 redistributable and I just want to search for it. Should come back on Microsoft Domain here. Since it's the latest supported Visual C++ downloads, just going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to go ahead and select the applicable one for our version of Windows. So if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, you're going to download the 64-bit one. I'm on a 32-bit machine here, so I'm going to select the Times 86 one. Most of you guys will be downloading the Times 64 one if your computer is I would say less than 10 years old more than likely. Some older computers probably will be times 86 and even some newer low-end computers but generally speaking most of you guys should be on times 64 if you're not sure. But there's other ways you can check. I have tutorials on my channel for that. You're welcome to search for it. So anyway we're going to go ahead and run the executable once it is downloaded. Go ahead and select run if you receive a security pop-up. Select I agree to the license terms and conditions and select install. Give it a moment here. And if you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And give that a moment. Shouldn't take too long here. So it should say you must restart your computer before you can use the software. Go ahead and select the restart button. Okay, there you go guys, simple as that. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.